it's beef, it's brisket, it's butcher paper, it's jalapeno peppers, Texas barbecue, just what makes it special, plus a little secret to the sauce. Just outside of Dallas, Lockhart Barbecue, and yes, my test is you can smell smoke. A little trip there helps define a few things about Texas barbecue. The meat is beef. The brisket is the headliner here. And the smoke, although a lot of people think mesquite in Texas, post oak is the smoke that rules here. And why not think local? Post oak is white oak. It's a native Texas tree with a name that actually refers to its popular use for fence posts. Texas barbecue is also aligned pretty closely with fresh smoked sausage, and here, the juicy snap of a fresh smoked jalapeno sausage is a specialty. And they also tip their Texas hats here to the best of the best. Lockhart Smokehouse is the area's exclusive purveyors of Kreitz Market Sausage, and Kreitz is a Texas barbecue royalty name and has been since the early 1900s. But alas, a Kreitz market is about four hours away from Dallas. So fortunately, here at Lockhart Smokehouse, they show off the connection to Kreitz on the walls with memorabilia and definitely on the trays with that incredible jalapeno sausage. How many times you been here? I have too many to count. Too many to count. I have been in and out of this state, up and down this country, and I still have not had better barbecue. As far as spices go, on Texas barbecue, it's usually kept pretty simple, salt and pepper. And they do allow sauce and forks, unlike Kreitz Markets here at Lockhart's Smokehouse. The sauce in Texas, it's a tangy and dark red sauce with a ketchup and Worcestershire flair to it. Sometimes served hot, like this here at Eddie Dean's near Cowboy Stadium. They serve it piping. One of the few places you can get fresh sauce hot out of the little cooker there. Yum. In fact, I think the barbecue trick is to serve the sauce hot on the side. It adds a real big zip of freshness that really, it'll send uh, your taste buds into overdrive. i uh, got a recipe on the website right now at barbecuetricks.com for a close facsimile. Next, traditionally, typical Texas barbecue is actually served and actually sometimes even cooked in butcher paper. And it's also served along with mega jars of jalapeno peppers and pickled red onions. Ribs are often on the plate. Uh, occasional shoulder clot is on the menu. Chicken. It's the full combination of all these things mixed with oak smoke and definitely a Lone Star flag out front that truly defines Texas barbecue. Tell us your favorite barbecue joint. Do it in the comments or tag us in a great plate. And if you want more barbecue from South Carolina to California to Memphis, we'd love for you to head over to the website. It's www.barbecuetricks.com.